morning and welcome. My name is Melissa and welcome to Fusion with Shangri La Hot Yoga. It's going to be a 60 minute class. It is all levels, so it gives you lots of options. There's always ways to make it a little bit easier or to make it harder if you want a little bit more and you want to take it up a notch. So we're going to be working on our shoulders and our core today. So I like to say, you know, strong shoulders, strong core make for fun yoga because there's lots of possibilities when you have that strong, when those strong shoulders and core. Strong core is also really important because it helps us to protect our spine, especially our low back, right? So we would definitely want to work on engaging that core and working it up. Um, and if you need to, you know, modify your practice, take a child's pose at any point if it feels good for you. Um, and thank you for joining me. So we're going to get started today in a child's pose. So you can have either the knees out wide or the knees in touching if that feels better. So big toes are touching, knees out just as wide as feels comfortable for you. Allow the hips to settle back towards the heel and then reach nice and long through the fingertips. Take a second just to settle into the mat. Maybe rock the head back and forth and give the forehead a little massage here and take any last minute little movements that you need here in your body. And then when you're ready, settle into stillness. And I'm going to give you an option here if you want to start with a little bit of a shoulder and tricep stretch. You can take the palms together into a prayer and then start to bend the elbows and place your thumbs near the nape of the neck. So you have forehead down and then you're pressing the shoulders towards the ground. So try to engage through those shoulders. Press them towards the ground. Feel that nice stretch all the way down the arm here. So either arms out long or finding that shoulder stretch is up to you. And then starting here with a deep breath in through your nose, fill up all the way up to the top. Open the mouth, clear it out. Good, a couple more times. Big inhale. Let it go. Last full breath in. Sigh it out. And from here, close the lips. Start to breathe in and out through your nose. You can find a slight constriction to the back of your throat for your ujjayi breath if that's part of your practice. And then just cultivate that breath. So take a few breaths here, maybe each one a little bit longer than the last. Maybe scanning the body, kind of noticing how you're feeling, what it is that you need from your practice today. Inhale, come up to a tabletop, and then just take a seat off to either side. So we're going to be in a comfortable seat here, whatever that means for you. Cross legs, and just breathe down through the sits bones. Arms soften down beside us. Inhale, reach the hands high. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, lower it down. Inhale, sweep it high. But this time the next, I'm going to take the hand and we're going to lower them down to the shoulders. So I'm going to move to the back so you guys can kind of see what, what I'm talking about there. So hands are going to connect to the shoulder blades. So press the hands down, press the elbows up towards the ceiling. So you should start to feel a stretch here in the shoulders and the triceps, right? And we're going to take a big breath and we're going to lift up through the chest. And with the breath out, start to find a little back bend. So pull the navel in, lift through the chest, maybe lifting the gaze as well and stretching through the shoulders and the arms. Press the head into the arms, lift up through the chest a little bit more. One more inhale. Keep the hands where they are. With your exhale, start to curl the spine. Pull the chin in towards the chest and around. So navel comes in nice and tight to the spine, engaging the core here. Bring that breath to movement. Inhale, open up, lift. Exhale, round. Two more times. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Big breath in. Breath out. Curl. Good. This time, inhale. Come back up. Reach the hands high. 
Exhale, hands come down. So we're gonna work straight to the core here. So you're gonna bring the feet in front of you. So feet come down onto the mat, and we're gonna roll all the way down onto our spine. So come all the way down, work in our core here, a couple core exercises. It's gonna help us build some heat, right? Take the hands behind the head, just gently place them behind your head. You can always interlace if that feels good. Press the head into the hands. And we're gonna start to do just a little bit of crunches. So pull that navel in and lift up. You can use your exhales here, right? As you come up, shh, shh, you come a little bit deeper. Keep those elbows nice and wide. We're using the core, not the shoulders to lift up. Continue here at your own pace. We're here for another 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, hold, hold up at the top, hold it, we're here for seven, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, release it down. All right, we're going to do one more round of core here, this time we're going to lift the knees up, tabletop, flex the feet, hands stay behind the head, you're going to take a breath in at center, and with a breath out, you're going to take that left elbow over towards the right leg, find your little your little um, back and forth here. Inhale, come to center. Exhale to the other one, good. And then continue going back and forth. Breath into center, breath out the crunch. We're twisting that spine. Good, try to keep the knees right above the hips. Use your breath out to get a little bit deeper here. Nice audible exhales. We're here for another 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Oh, good. Release. Big body, big full body stretch. Point the toes, lengthen out, let it go. Hopefully your core's on fire here. Hopefully you're feeling, starting to feel a little bit of heat in your body. All right, grab the backs of the thighs, start to rock and roll forward and backwards. And then we'll come through our tabletop. When you get a chance, come up to tabletop. Press into the palms, engage the shoulders. So press away from the ground, find that nice strength. So just notice the difference here, right? So I'm gonna just kind of demo something really quick. So notice if you're jumping into those shoulders and you notice that chest dropping, try to find those strength by gripping into the ground with fingertips and pressing away. And this is a similar experience that you can find when you're in your plank as well, right? Tuck your toes here. Start to hover the knees over the ground. So finding our little hovering tabletop. Pull the ribs in towards each other. Press away from the ground. Find the strength in your shoulders. Maybe you're just slightly rounding through the upper back. Good. Two more breaths. One more inhale. Exhale. Start to lift the hips nice and high to your first downward facing dog and shake it out. Bend into one knee, then the other. Open up through the back side of the legs. You can shake the head yes and no. Find any movement in the bed. Ready, you know, settle into some stillness into your downward facing dog. Feet are out at hips width apart, so not too wide, not too close. You never want those big toes touching. Keep a generous bend in the knees. It's gonna help you find more length in your low back. Pull the navel in, press into the fingertips, engage through the arms. Let the head hang heavy. We want to have some length in our neck. One more full breath in our down dog. Inhale, bend the knees, look forward to the top of the mat. Exhale, slowly step the feet up, come to your forward fold. Feet on the hips of the part, find a little bit of space here. Bend generously through the knees. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands come to either shins or thighs. Find some length in the spine. Reach through the crown of the head. Exhale, fold forward. Pause right here. Make sure the belly is connected to the thighs. You can either just find a traditional rag doll or you can always interlace the hands behind the head and pull the elbows in towards each other and sway back and forth. Or if it feels good for your shoulders, you can always interlace the hands behind the back, press the palms together. Just a couple of different options to kind of stretch out the shoulders and the neck, depending on what feels best for you. Sway back and forth. Find some movement, lengthening out the spine. It should feel really good in the back side of the legs and the spine. We'll meet back at center. 
Release the hands all the way down. Inhale, slowly roll the spine up to standing, feeling every single vertebra here. Head in the last thing to rise up. Coming for a mountain pose. Roll those shoulders back in together. Open up your chest. We're going to do that a couple times. Inhale, lift the shoulders high the ears. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, soften. You're finding your mountain pose. Nice and engaged. Lift up the kneecaps. Pull the ribs in. Press the fingertips towards the ground. Inhale, lengthen the hands up. High mountain. Roll those pinky fingers in. Imagine that you want to touch the ceiling with the fingertips. Good. Big breath in. With the breath out, the hands are going to come down to the shoulder blades. So just like we did before, right? Press the hands down. Press the head into the arms. Take a big breath in. Lift up to the chest. And breath out. Start to find that back bend. Keep the navel in nice and tight. We want to protect our low back. You can lift the gaze if that feels good. Arching through the upper back. One more breath. Inhale, release, reach high. Exhale, fold forward. A little bend in the knees as you fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Good, from here, plant the palms onto the mat. Inhale, step back to your first high plank, but lower the knees. We're just lowering our knees here for this first round to find our form. You can always lift the knees later on. Grip into the ground. Press away just like we did in our tabletop. Slightly squeeze the glutes to engage the legs. Pulling the belly button in nice and tight to engage the core. Inhale, shift slightly forward. Exhale, bend the elbows. Hug them in and lower just halfway. Good. Pause at the halfway point. Good. With the breath, we're going to lift back up. With a couple of times. Exhale, lower. Engaging those shoulders. Inhale, rise. Exhale, soften halfway. And inhale, come up to that modified plank this time. Exhale, we're going to lower all the way down, controlled as possible. Lowering the chest, lowering everything down. Bring up a modified cobra here. So hands are underneath the shoulders. This time we're only going to root through the pelvis. So we're actually going to lift the legs up as well. So with an inhale, lift the chest up, squeeze the shoulders, and then if you want to, add in the legs. Lifting up the feet, pointing the toes. It's kind of like a mixture between our um, locusts and our cobra. If the hand lift is too much, you can always keep the hands down, just barely touching to lift the chest up. Keep the gaze at the ground, reaching through the crown of the head to lengthen the spine. One more inhale. Exhale, lower. Good, this time, normal cobra. Inhale, lift the chest up. Exhale, soften. One more time, keep those feet rooted. Inhale, rise. Exhale, lower. Good, two choices here. Come through tabletop or tuck the toes and engage the thighs. Press into the palms, one line wide. Inhale to your high plank. This is those shoulders, press away. Exhale, downward facing dog, hip to thigh. Good, working through that a little bit faster, getting our heart rate going, building some heat. Inhale, bend, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep all the way up. Reach high. Exhale, hands come down to the shoulders. Find your little back bend. Inhale, lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold forward. Plant through the palms. Inhale, step back to your high plank. We're holding. This time, option to keep the knees lifted. If your modified plank feels good, stay right there with the knees down, right? Wherever you are, engaging, pressing through the fingertips, lifting the knuckles up, pressing away from the ground. Good. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, bend the elbows, hug them in, lower half or all the way. Chaturanga. Inhale, open up your chest, cobra or upward facing dog. Pause for a second. Roll the shoulders back. Maybe look over one shoulder and then the other. Find some movement. One more inhale. Exhale, roll over the knees with toes, lift the hips high, downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Big breath out. Inhale, bend, look forward. 
Exhale, top of the mat. Good step for hop. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, hands to shoulders, bend the back. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, hands to shins or thighs. Exhale, chaturanga of choice. Plant the palms, find your club. We want you to always add that extra push up in like we did earlier. Making your way to your downward facing dog. Fullest breath in. Deep breath out. Close the lips, breathe in. Breathe out. Good, from our downward facing dog. Root down through that left foot, inhale, right leg reaches up towards the ceiling. Flex the foot, point the pinky toe towards the ground. Deep breath in, lift up through the heel, squeeze the loop. Exhale, take the knee towards the elbow. We're gonna work our shoulders and our core here. Good, from here, we're gonna lower the knee down to the wrist, hover. And then take it over towards the left wrist. And then up towards the left elbow. And then reach it back up high, three leg dog. Lower that foot down, downward facing dog, shake it out. Good, this time right foot down, inhale, left foot up. Pausing for a moment, roll the pinky foot, faces the ground. Flex the foot, press the heel back. Inhale, lift that heel up. Exhale, tap to left elbow. Bring it down to the wrist, hover. Over towards the right wrist. Up towards the right elbow. Inhale, lengthen back up high. Exhale, downward facing dog. Maybe your arms are shaking a little bit here. Take a second, find some movement. Hopefully you're feeling a little bit of heat now, I know I am. All right, moving on, inhale, right leg reaches high. Exhale, pull the knee and pause here, look forward, round the spine, and then gently step the foot up. Lower the back knee down. Inhale, reach high, come to your low crescent. Pause for a second, settle into that front thigh. Pull the right hip back, the left hip forward. Make sure the knee is right above or behind the ankle. If it's not, maybe walk that foot a little bit further forward here. Reach up through the fingertips, lengthen nice and high. Settle in. And then settle in. Find that depth here. Opening up our hips. Full breath in. Spread out, take the hands, interlace them behind the head. Press the head into the hands, lift the chest up. Finding a little back bend here. Keeping the ribs in towards each other. Opening up your shoulders. Pull the shoulders together. Elbows reaching out nice and wide. One more breath. Inhale, reach back high. So if your back toes are not tough, tuck those back toes here. We're gonna come a little bit further. So big breath in, lengthen through the fingertips. And then with the breath out, you're going to start to lift that back knee up and sweep the arms back behind your airplane. So press the airplane here. Hug the shoulders together. Hug the hands together. Try to roll that right hip back. It's tempted to come forward. Pull the navel up. Try to gently hover the belly over the thigh. Nice tight core. Nice tight shoulders. Hugging them in towards each other. Imagine you're holding something and you don't want it to drop here. Inhale, reach the hands forward. Keeping the spine exactly the same, so we're not lifting up, reaching out. So here, a little bit different, usually hands are towards each other, so you can rotate the hands up towards the ceiling. So we're just finding different engagement here in the shoulders, pressing the palms up, reaching out, come high up onto the toes on that left side. One more breath in, go the breath out, windmill up to your warrior two, back heel comes down, settle in if you need to, you know, come out of that thigh and come back in. I know if I might be screaming at you a little bit, I know it's screaming at me a little bit. Reaching out through the fingers. Spread those shoulders out nice and wide. Press the right knee open. Find a nice hip opener here. Come a little bit deeper. Settle into your breath too, so keep that nice strong breath here. Keep it then. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Reach the right hand back. Lengthen through the side body. So you can come a little bit deeper into that thigh. Reaching up and then back, lengthen through both sides. Back hand is nice and light. Maybe you try to half bind if that feels good. 
Full inhale. With your exhale, you're going to start to reach towards the front of the room. Right, hand, right arm comes down the right thigh. Left arm comes high, front hip long side here. Extended side angle. So you can stay right here if you need to. You can go further to a half or a full bind. Press into the outer edge of your left foot. Engage the back leg as much as possible. Use your obliques here to lift away from the legs slightly. So we're not pressing all our weight into our thigh. You're kind of hovering the arm on the leg. Reaching through those top fingertips. Maybe the bicep comes along so that you're finding that side body stretch. Two more. Then we get the release. Last breath. Press down through the front foot. Inhale, reach back, straight the leg, reverse triangle. So maybe you're like, ah, oh, can you do that, right? Because we're letting that front leg flush out. Press the hips towards the front of the room. Reach up. Find that length. Maybe the gaze lifts up towards the ceiling if it feels okay in the neck. Roll the right pinky finger down, engage the arm. Last big inhale. Exhale, hands cartwheel down, frame the foot. Inhale, step the foot back, high plank, always an option to hover for more. Exhale, chaturanga, lower half for all the way. Inhale, open up the chest. Exhale, lift the hips back. Use the core there. Going straight to our second side. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, pull it in. Pause for a moment. Round as much as possible. Make as much space as you can to gently step that foot forward. Lower the back knee. Inhale, reach up. Find that low crescent. Settle in just for a couple of breaths. Try to hug the hips in towards each other. Engage the glutes here for, uh, for stability. Pull the ribs in towards each other. So we're using our core as well to find that nice long spine. And then reach up through the fingertips. Come a little bit deeper. Settle in. Full breath in. Breath out, interlace the hands behind the head. Press the head into the arms. Inhale, lift up through the chest. Exhale, come deeper into your lunge. One more breath. Inhale, reach back high. Preparing to come further. Tuck the toes if they're not tucked, right? Engaging through those legs. Pull that left hip back. Full inhale. Exhale. Knee lifts up. Sweep the arms back. One big motion coming into that flying into our um, airplane, right? So hug the shoulders together. Hug the hands together. See if you can stack the knee right above the ankle if possible. It's going to start to hurt a little bit, right? Hug that left hip back in line with the right. Squeeze the hands together. You don't want to drop those cookies. You really want to eat them later. Pull the navel in. Adding on, inhale, reach the arms forward. Keep the legs exactly the same. Keep the torso exactly the same. So you're going to rotate the arms up to the palms to face the ceiling. Engaging our arms and our shoulders in a different way here. Come a little bit deeper. One more breath in. A big breath out, you're going to sweep the arms up, heel comes down to 90, come open that warrior two. If you need to, you'll flush out, and then come back in. If the flush is what you need to find your new edge, it's more than okay, right? That's all right. Listen to your body, do what feels good for you. Press into the outer edge of the right foot. You want this back leg nice and strong. Reach open through the arms. Fingertips lengthening out. Come deeper into the side. That bend is nice and strong here. Inhale, reach the left hand back. So legs stay exactly the same. Don't move those legs at all. Press the left knee open, reaching up. Maybe you find that half bind, wrapping the arm behind the back. Full breath in, reach if you want to touch the wall. Breath out, reach forward, lengthen left arm, left thigh. Right arm behind, bicep alongside your extended side angle. Find your own variation if you want to build on. So there's lots of ways to come deeper here. Maybe the hand comes down to block your mat. Maybe you find a half or a full bind. Roll that top shoulder back. Keep the chest nice and broad. Good. Keeping that knee open. Notice we're tempted to roll in. Slightly lift the arm away from the leg. Using our obliques here, that side core. We're working all of our core. One more breath. We're going to get that release. Inhale, press down, straighten the leg, reach back, reverse triangle. Try to press the hips towards the front of the room. 
Lengthen through the arm. You're not pressing down through this back hand, right? So you want to avoid pressing into the knee. So it's nice and light. Inhale, reach back. Exhale, waterfall down. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, flow. Inhale, broaden. Exhale, lift back, down dog. Full breath in. Big breath out. One more time. Deep inhale. Let it go. All right, here we go towards our breath movement. So we're going to take this a little bit faster. You're like, I'm already sweating. Yeah, we're going to sweat a lot here. We're going to get that heart rate moving, all right? So listen carefully. There's going to be a modification, all right? From our down dog, inhale, right leg reaches high. Exhale, pull it through. Step forward, knees down. Keep the toes tucked. Inhale, rise. Exhale, straight to that flying crescent. Inhale, reach the arms forward. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse your triangle. Exhale, palms down, chaturanga. Make your way to down dog. So take your flow how you need it. Remember, you can always skip it. And just meet us in down dog if that feels better. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, low crescent. Exhale, airplane crescent. Inhale, reach. Exhale, open up. Inhale, sweep the left hand back. Exhale, extend out. Inhale, reverse, straighten. Exhale, palms down, find your flow. Full breath in. Clear it out. One more time on each side. And then we're done with our chaturanga. Inhale, right heel high. Exhale, step forward. Knee down, inhale, lift. Exhale, sweep back. Inhale, reach out. Exhale, open up. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extend. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, bring the foot, find your flow. Remember, you can always skip it. Only two more chaturangas. Final side of our breath and movement. Inhale, left heel. Exhale, gentle step. Knee down, inhale, lift. Exhale, knee lift, fly. Inhale, reach. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse that warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, palms down. Final shutter of our practice. Make your way to your down dog. The deep breath in. Open up, clear it out. We do one more time. Full inhale. Let it go. All right, shifting forward to our high plank. We're just gonna lower it down to a count of five, four, three, two, and one, all the way down here. Whew. All right, I don't know about you, but I'm sweating. Definitely dripping down to my mat a little bit. All right, from our bellies, we're gonna bring our forearms underneath us. Come to your sphinx pose. So next shoulder opener, a little back bend here. Try to make sure that those forearms are parallel to each other. This is your moment, just for a second, if you want to slow down that breath. Slow down the heart rate a little bit, right? So take big breaths. Maybe open up, exhale, if it feels good. Press through the tops of the feet. Roll the shoulders back. All right, we're going to find some movement, all right? So a breath, and you're going to roll the shoulders back, lift the chin up, open the chest. Breath out, pull the chin in towards the chest, pull the navel up so the belly slightly lifts and around the spine. So it's gonna feel like cat cow here, right? But we're in our sphinx. Inhale, open up. Exhale, curl. All right, so you can continue to do those. Breath and movement, and I wanna show you a way to spice it up. So either continue there or tuck your toes. So we're gonna spice it up here, I'm gonna demo it for you, all right? 
Through the inhale, you're gonna roll the shoulders back, you're gonna lift the chest and the gaze. With an exhale, you're gonna start to round, you're gonna tuck the toes, you're gonna lift up, coming to your forearm plank. So this is your option if you wanna make it a little more spicy. Inhale, lower the hips, lift the chest. Exhale, press up to that forearm plank. Round the spine. Inhale. Remember, you can keep the hips down if that feels better. Exhale. Two more times. Big breath in. Breath out. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Hold right here. If you're in that forearm plank, hold for a second. We're here for five, four, three, two, and one. Come all the way down. Woo. All right, shoulders. Arms come down nice and long. Just come to one cheek. Take a second. Breathe. Let it go. All right, come over to the other cheek. Forearms come underneath us, coming back up onto your forearms, tuck the toes, and we're all going to make our way to that forearm plank. If you need to, you can always come to a modified forearm plank, keeping the knees down, right? Press into the palms, press into the forearms, maybe finding that full forearm plank, and then also come towards dolphin. So for dolphin, you're just going to start to walk the toes in towards the shoulders. Maybe it's a little V shape, so it's like a downward facing dog, but on your forearms. If you need to, you can always interlace hands together if that feels better. Press those hips back. Keep a bend in your knees if that feels good. Just a couple more breaths here. See how close you can walk the toes in towards your elbows. All right, so we're coming towards our down dog. So you can choose. You can try to calm yourself. Maybe you try to press into the palms and lift the elbows up straight to your down dog. If that doesn't feel good, you can just walk one hand up and then the other. So however you need to, come up to your downward facing dog. Bend the knees, look forward. Top of that. So walk those feet out nice and wide. Take the peacemaking fingers, wrap them around the big toes. Bend the elbows, pull the front of them down. And Pada Gustasana here. Keep the belly on the side, so bend those knees generously. Alright, we're going to start by rooting down through our left foot. Coming towards a little bit of bounce. 
together. Left foot roots, hands out heart, right knee lifts up one leg mountain pose. Keep the gauge of the ground for more supports. Make sure that that leg is coming right out of the hip and you're flexing the foot. Roll the shoulders back and together. All right, option here to add a little shoulder stretch. So if it feels okay for you, reach the arms behind you, either grab opposite elbows or interlace the hands. Roll the shoulders back and together, maybe your front starting to feel a little wobbly, adding in that arm stretch. Pull the navel in, lengthen through the spine. And we have the option to build, so big breath in. With your breath out, take the right leg, start to sweep it back towards your warrior three. Keep that bind if you have it. So option for normal warrior three or bound warrior three. Pressing the palms together, maybe grabbing opposite forearms. Roll the shoulders back. Flex the right foot. Point the pinky toe towards the ground. Lift up by squeezing the glutes. Lift the heel, right? We're not lifting up and out. We're lifting straight up. Ribs in. Reach through the crown of the head. Two more breaths. Last one. Go the breath in slowly. Release the mind. Reach up. Shake it up. All right. We're going to have the hands on the hips. You're going to step back with the left foot. So take the weight back with the right foot. Step back with the left. Heel comes down. Legs are straight. Walk that foot in just a little bit. Lift up through the kneecaps. Reach the arms out. With a breath in, press the hips back and reach through the right arm until you can no longer reach. Exhale, back side of right palm to inner thigh and left arm up comes to your triangle or your trikonasana. Lift up, lengthen. Reach through the fingertips. Using our obliques here again, right? So that side core. Remember, we want to strengthen our front, our side, and our back core. Lengthen through the fingertips. If you want to add on, you want a little bit more core work, you can always reach both arms forward. Imagine that you're holding something between the palms. So your options here, normal or reaching the arms forward. Two more breaths. Last one. Good, inhale, reach up, use the obliques to rise. Toes come in, heels come out. So slightly pigeon toes. Inhale, open up the chest, lift. Exhale, wide leg forward, fold. Stay right here, feels good. You can invert or come back to another arm balance. So just notice what feels good in your body here, whether that's holding the forward fold or going a little bit deeper. If you're in the forward fold, weight is into the toes and out of the heels. So you're coming slightly forward here. Couple more breaths for those of you who are choosing to invert. Let the head hang heavy if you're staying in your forward fold. Two more. If you're upside down, make your way back down towards the ground. From here, lift up, lengthen onto the fingertips, and walk yourself forward. So we're coming into our lunge here. So finding our active lunge. All right, so we're gonna come into, we're gonna come into our tabletop. So step the right foot back into your tabletop. And we're gonna work towards our forearm side plank. So just working a little bit more of those shoulders. We're gonna start with that left forearm down. So you're gonna take the left forearm down, it's going to be parallel to the top edge of your mat. And then roll onto your side and come onto the outer edge of the feet. If you need to, you can come into that modified with the knee down. So option to have the knee down or to have the knee up and lifted, coming into that full forearm side plank. Reach up through those fingertips. Try to press down through the forearm. Strengthen the bottom shoulder and lift the hips up as high as possible. All right? Nice and tall here. If the knee is down, stay right there. Nice supported version, all right? Couple more breaths. Last one. Good, now come back to your tabletop. Take a second at your tabletop. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, round the spine. One more time, inhale. Exhale. Come back to your neutral spine. Tuck the toes. 
toes, lift the hips. Look forward to the top of the mat. Exhale, forward fold. Just that second this time before we start to slow it down a little bit. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend through the knees, sit low. Inhale, chair. Moving faster, exhale, sweep. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, settle in. One more time, big breath in. Breath out, fly. Inhale, high mountain. Exhale, hands to heart. All right, this time we're going to root down through the right foot. Hands to heart, left knee lifts up, one leg mountain pose. Flex the foot, toes curl towards the shin. Find stability first. If you're feeling really stable, you can try to lift the gaze for more challenge. If you're feeling really wobbly, keep the gaze to the ground for more support. Lift up through the crown of the head. All right, option here to add on. Reach the arms back. Either grab off the elbows and find your like flipped grip from the other side. Whether you're doing the hands interlacing or off the elbows. So whatever feels wonky. Press the shoulders back and together. Stay right here for a couple of breaths. Good big breath in, lengthen through the spine. Breath out, start to sweep the leg back and towards that warrior free. If it doesn't feel good to have the inner legs, you can always release it. This is just an option. Little shoulder stretch here. Press the palms together, press the shoulders together. You keep slight bend in the elbows. Roll the left hip down. Pinky toes pointing towards the ground. You can have a slight bend in the right knee for more support here. It's not to be completely straight. We're focusing on using that outer right hip here, right? Two more breaths. Last one. Good, release the bind. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, hands from the hips. This time, left foot stays forward. Step back through the right foot. Heel comes down. Leg nice and straight. All right, so left foot forward, right foot back. Lifting those kneecaps up, nice, strong quads. Reach out nice and long. Inhale, press back, reach forward. Exhale, backside of left palm to inner thigh. And right arm high, freaking asana. If you want to come lower, you can. Just make sure that as you're lowering, you're not collapsing that hip or that shoulder down, right? So we're keeping everything nice and open. We're using our obliques here to lengthen out that bottom side body. If you wanted that challenge, you took on the other side, maybe the arms reach forward. A little bit more core work here, a little more shoulder work as well. Stay in your own variation. We're here for two. Nice big breath, last one. Pull in those obliques, inhale, rise up. Toes inhaled out. All right, this one, we're gonna open up our shoulders. So interlace the hands behind you. Maybe grab opposite forearms. Press the shoulders together. Inhale, open up the chest. Exhale, wide leg forward fold. Keeping that bind if it doesn't feel good. Remember, you can always release the bind at any point. And it's okay if your shoulders are all the way down here, right? I have very hypermobile shoulders. So that's probably why you see my shoulders going a little bit further forward. Most of them are gonna be right here, and that's Totally okay, you know? We're all right to be wherever you are in your body. So you can press the palms together just a little bit more. Let the head release towards the ground. Feel the stretch down the back side of the legs. If you still have the bind, slowly release back down. Lift up onto the fingertips. Walk yourself forward. Find your active low lunge. Left foot forward, right foot back. And then from here, plant the palms and just step that foot back into your tabletop. So we're going to work that forearm side, plant on the other side, and then you're home free from there, right? So the right forearm is going to come about parallel to the top of the mat. And then you can either find that modified version with the bottom knee down, or if you want to, you can take that full variation of both feet on the ground, lifting the hips up. Try to press away, lift the hips towards the ceiling, reach through that top arm as much as you possibly can. Keep that front arm engaged, pull the navel in. Press away, strengthen those bottom shoulders. So we're not dumping down to the shoulder. We're pressing and we're lifting, we're here for two. 
Last big breath in, press the hips high. Good, breath out, come back to that tabletop. Whew. Shake it out. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, open up. Exhale, come in. Come back to your neutral spine, your stable table. All right, so we're gonna tuck our toes. We're gonna come to our plank. Just a little bit more here, right? We're just gonna use our plank to come all the way down to the ground. So, come to your plank. Knees are lifted, shoulders high above the wrists. Big breath in. Count of five, nice controlled lower. Five, four, three, two, and one. Come all the way down. Woo. Shoulders come down to the ground, arms are nice and long. Come back to one shake down. Take a couple of big breaths. And then come to center. All right, a little bit more core action here before we come into a shoulder stretch. Okay, this is the home stretch. Last little bit of activity. You're going to take the hands. You're going to bring them behind the head. Elbows are out. The hands are nice and light, right? So we're pressing those fingertips down. Keep the feet rooted, right? Keep, maybe the knees are lifting because you're rooting so much. Take a breath out. With a breath in, lift up. Press that into the hands. Lift. You probably feel this in that core, right? So we're using our core here. We're not using our head. So you don't look up with the gaze, right? Keep the gaze to the ground. Press that into the hand. Lift up. You're probably feeling this a lot in your back as well. One more inhale. Exhale, lower. We're going to work that breath to move, but inhale, rise. Exhale, soften. Inhale. Exhale. Go at your own pace, all right? Maybe that's fast. Maybe that's slow. We're here for 10. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Lower it down. Whew, shake it out. Arms nice and long. Come to the opposite cheek. Oh, let it go. Heart's probably beating pretty fast here. Big open mouth exhales. All right, you're home free. You made it to the stretching. Pat yourself on the back. Or if you're practicing at the side, so we'll maybe give them a high five. Reach the arms nice and long beside you. So arms are nice and long out of the shoulders. We're going to start by taking, let's get over a little bit just make sure you guys can see. We're going to start by taking that left hand. We're going to bring it next to the chest. Keep the right arm nice and long. Use the left hand to roll yourself over onto the right hip. So the left hip is stacked on top of the right. You can stay right here for a little bit more. Take that top foot and step it back. So options to just keep them stacked. If you need more, foot comes back. If you still need more, take that arm and find a half bind behind the back. So your choice how you take this does not have to be very far. You don't have to have that foot back. You don't have to have the half bind. If it's too much to have this arm up, just lower it down a little bit. So that'll take a little bit of that difficulty out of the posture, bringing the arm down. Relax the cheek down to the mat. We're slowing it all down. Try to roll the left shoulder back. If you have super open shoulders and you want to go even further, you can always try to take the left leg also onto the ground. But that's only if you're super open, right? So if you have tight shoulders, don't try to go there. You don't want to hurt your shoulders, right? It's easy to do something if we're going too far, especially on our joints. So be nice to your shoulders. The moment you feel any pain, you know, come out of the posture. Come to an easier version. Roll back onto your belly. 
Take a few movements in the arms. So roll them forward, roll them backward, shake it out. Try to bring the fluid back into the joint, right? Nice lubrication here. And then reach out through the left arm this time. Right hand comes into the chest. Use the right hand to roll yourself over. We start on our left hip. So right leg is stacked on top of the left. Stay here. And for more, step that foot back. For even more, take that half vine. Find what feels good for you. Maybe that's the lesser version of this pose, the one that has less of a stretch. Maybe that's something a little bit more difficult. We're all honoring our own bodies. And maybe one side is different than the other. So we all have one side that likes to cooperate a little bit more. And that's okay. Just make sure that you're listening to that side, right? We're not trying to push it to be equal to the other. Just like we're not trying to push ourselves to be equal to another person. So you want to challenge yourself, but you want to challenge yourself from your own level. It's never about comparing to another yogi. It's always about your own practice and how you can take yourself further for your own benefit. There's no competition in yoga, right? When you're ready, roll it back to center. And finding movements to bring that fluid back into the shoulder. And you're going to stay in whatever direction you're in and just roll gently onto your back. So you're probably facing towards the back of the mat. That's okay. Stay there and just roll over. We just want to take the, the little, least amount of effort as we possibly can. Pull the knees in towards the chest. Find some movement. Make some big circles. And then place the soles of the feet back onto the ground. All right, we're just gonna do a couple rounds of bridge. More so focusing on opening up the chest. So it's not really about the back bend. It's not about how high you can lift, all right? So walk those heels in towards the glutes till you can tickle them. Take a full breath out, and with the breath in, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the quads, and lift the hips up. Remember, we're not lifting very high. We're more so focusing on trying to roll the shoulders underneath us. So see if you can roll the shoulders underneath you, opening up the chest here. Keep the chin in towards the chest, nice and long neck. Lift those hips up nice and high, squeeze the glutes. Full breath in, and breath out, lower it back down. We're just doing one more, all right? One breath between. Inhale, lift back up. You're going to roll the shoulders underneath. If it feels good, you can interlace the hands underneath you and find that vine. So we have a nice opening here through your chest. Squeezing those glutes in, hugging the quads, lift the hips. Think of this as the low back, right? So pull the navel in to support the spine. Big breath in, lift up, and a breath out, lower it back down. Feet out nice and wide, and just windshield wiper back and forth. We'll come back to center for broken bridge. So feet are out at, at mat width apart, and just let the knees fall in towards each other. Place the hands on the belly, or maybe one hand on the belly and one on the chest. Take some deep breaths. We're okay to slow down the heart rate and the breath at this point. You know, we're coming towards that final resting posture. Good, knees come back to center. 
Feet out of hips of the park. Take the right ankle and cross it over the left thigh. Come into your figure four. So we're just going to stretch out our outer hips. Press the right hand into the knee. You can stay here. If you need a little bit more, you can interlace the hands behind the thigh on the left side and pull it in. If you're coming to the seabird version, use the right elbow to press the knee out. So you're pressing on that knee. Try to come a little bit deeper into that stretch. But roll the shoulders back. So shoulders are connected to the mat. Head is connected to the mat here. Flex both of your feet. shins, ankles, or feet. So whatever you can reach, making sure the low back stays connected to the mat. If it lifts up, place the hands on the ankles or the shins. And just rock back and forth. Little playful baby here.
back to center. One final time, pull the knees in towards the chest and roll into a tight little ball. Wrap the arms around the shins, put the nose up towards the knees, curl everything in. One more breath, hold the top, deep inhale, hold. One more little sip of air. Exhale, open up to your Shavasana, take up nice space. Legs out wide, arms out wide. Open up, let it go. Find any last minute, last minute little movements that you might need. And then give in to the rest. Give yourself permission to relax, to let go, to enjoy your Shavasana. And I'll call you back when it's time. Allow your awareness to return to your body. Notice if you benefit from a few more moments in your Shavasana. You can stay here as long as you would like. If you're ready to reawaken, start to bring movement back into the body. Reach the arms long above you, full body stretch. Pull the knees into the chest or roll onto either side for a fetal position. When you're ready, meeting up in a comfortable seat. Hands at heart center. Eyes are closed or gaze is soft down towards the ground. Release all of your air. Find your fullest breath in. Deepest breath out. Take a moment to show yourself gratitude for taking time out of your day to show up on your mat, for taking time for your practice, and most importantly, for taking time for you. Because especially right now, self-care is so important. Show gratitude to all those in their own homes practicing beside you. And I'm grateful that you all came to join me in your practice, whether it's live or later on on Facebook or YouTube. And from my heart to each and every one of yours, namaste. Thank you so much for joining me. Hopefully you got a really good workout, especially in your shoulders. Maybe you're going to be feeling a little bit sore in your shoulders and your core tomorrow. That means that you pushed yourself. That means that you did a great job, right? Um, as far as studio announcements, you know, we have decided for the safety of our staff and our clients that we will continue to stay closed for the time being. Uh, we will still be offering our online classes, so please check them out. And as soon as we have a reopening date, you know, we'll let you all know. But definitely safety comes first, right? So we're super... Um, 
worried about our safety and our client safety, so that's why we have chosen to continue to do online classes for the time being. Um, if you have enjoyed the classes, you want to donate, you can do so through Venmo or MindBody, and those links are on our Facebook or our website. Thank you all so much for joining me, and I hope you have a wonderful day.